there between Hearts and Rangers. Hearts coming off, of course, that derby win last week against Hibernian, and Rangers themselves chasing hard for a UEFA Cup place after their tremendous 4-4 game against Celtic last week. The big question for Hearts yesterday, I suppose, was how would they respond to the pressure of chasing that first league title for 26 years? Here's how the match worked out, and our commentator is Jock Brown. Clark in his head to the ball, but Durant sweeps it into the air for Clark again. No blank. That's for John Roberts and a great chance for Hearts. The opening goal. Eight minutes of match and John Robertson makes it 1-0 to Hearts. Robertson keeping up his amazing scoring sequence. The eighth game in a row in which he's found the net. And only took eight minutes. Now how's this for a polished finish? The ball was lofted in the air, it was played forward, Sandy Clark was involved. Rangers defence faltering, there was Robertson, the calm lob and Walker scramble was to no avail. Baker's header. These two sides have met at Tynecastle twice already this season. A 3-0 victory for Hearts in the league and then that 3-2 Scottish Cup victory in January. Hearts also won at Ibrox in the league in December by two goals to nil. Oh, they lost the first match in the sides at Ibrox by three goals to one. That's better. Picked up again by Berry. Needs help inside. Bell finds McMinn. McMinn again. High in the air from Mackay. Whitaker jumps for it. This flick. Fraser. Fine effort in the turn from Cami Fraser. And the Hearts defence didn't look too secure on that occasion. McPherson winning that high ball this time from Sandy Clark. Whitaker to Black. Whitaker again. Kinnan's clearance. Walker appears to be all right in the Rangers' goal, but he hasn't seriously been threatened since he had that head injury. So McPherson and Clark together as they have been since the start of the match. Lights cross, on the way by Bell, and still Hearts keep up the pressure. We've seen very little of Rangers as an attacking force in the match so far. Hearts, on the other hand, getting forward consistently, and this is Kenny Black. Headed away by Bell, returned by Cahoon. Clean catch by Walker. Fleck holding off Levine. He only has McCoyst in the middle for the moment. Now Fraser, that's for McCoyst. Kid determined as he finds the ball and the referee saw nothing amiss. Again, getting a vital touch. Here's Robertson. And McKinnon at full stretch, almost deflected that away from Nicky Walker. Jordan at full stretch, doing well. Dave McPherson. Rangers finding it virtually impossible to use Ali McCoy's to the middle. Excellent layoff from Clark. Now Gary Mackay. Missed by Fraser, but not by Monroe. Monroe appealing for the throw, but Lensman right on the spot gives it to Hearts. Neil Berry. 
target is Sandy Clark. Clark between McKinnon and McPherson as Mackay lofts it in again. Robertson towards Clark. Fraser's clearance. Very now to Kidd. There's Cahoon. And a misunderstanding there between McPherson and Walker almost like John Cahoon snatched the second goal. Well, this was very slight play by McPherson. They appeared to have things under control as he escorted it towards Walker. He allowed Cahoon to nip in and the angle was just too tight. Again, despite being fouled by Kidd, and the referee has given the free kick. And they have a word with the Hearts captain. And that little exchange between Kidd and McMinn is totally unnecessary. So Stuart Munro will take the free kick for Rangers. Off the head of Whitaker, McMinn trying to get in the act. There was Kidd. Defence did well on that occasion, closing in as McMinn tried to get a clear shot at goal. Fraser's header, Durant with a neat touch towards Flint. McCoy trying to find Bell through the middle. Well won by Munro, here's McCoy again. Now McMinn getting the bar from the Hearts supporters. I'm sure they'll simply serve as extra encouragement. The so shot goes over, but he still is a major threat to the Hearts defence. Sandy Clark battling away there against his former club. Three former Rangers players in the Hearts ranks. Sandy Jordan, Kenny Black and Clark himself. Turned away by McKinnon. Still Rangers finding it impossible to break the stranglehold which Hearts appear to have in the match at this stage. Whitaker's throw. Clark going up with McKinnon. There's Burns with Robertson. Turned in by Cahoon, then by Berry. And it was McPherson who made that good challenge and Berry in the end. A little exchange there between these two powerful players, Berry and McPherson, where the referee allows the play to flow. The Rangers defence once again living a shade dangerously as Hart's fell under pressure. There's a bad clearance. And the Burns. Showing his confidence in Nicky Walker with a fast back. But Dave McPherson caused the problems with that very loose clearance across the face of his own goal. McMinn again with the header. Jordan's clearance falls for a Durant. Being given no room at all by Black. Good play from the youngster. Whitaker's tackle on Fraser. Whitaker again. Barnes looking for Fleck, and now Bell. Now Fraser, McCoist, trying to turn, he's made it. Ali McCoist! And the goal is chopped off. The goal is chopped off. The flag was up on the far side. And I don't think it was against Ali McCoist. Well, it was fine play from the Rangers striker, the top scorer, who took the pass inside, appeared to have lost possession, won it back, and there you see the Rangers player go ahead of Valley McCoy's. That's why the goal was chopped off. to an end John Robertson leaves having given Hearts the vital lead in the 8th minute Sandy Clark doing sterling work in the air to force the ball forward as the Rangers defence faltered through the middle Robertson saw Walker come off his line lobbing the ball in that was the only goal of the first half but there's no question about it the league leaders are well worth their single goal lead at half time Hearts 1, Rangers 0 join us right after the break
There's been a downfall of rain at Tynecastle during the interval, but that, I'm sure, will not have dampened the enthusiasm of both sets of supporters for what should be a tremendous second half. In the first half hour of the match, Hearts undoubtedly had control. They were deservedly ahead. But there were signs later on that Rangers were coming back into things. And they will feel undoubtedly a bit unlucky about Ali McCoy's goal being chopped off for offside. Here's Hart straight away on the attack. And McKay's pass misses out Sandy Clark. And the referee has given a corner kick, has he? Or a free kick? No, it's a free kick against McPherson for keeping Kidd off the ball. Well, Dave McPherson can scarcely believe it, but the referee gave that decision instantly as Kidd tried to stop the ball going for the goal kick, which he would have been. So here's a moment of danger for the Rangers defence once again with Kenny Black taking the free kick. That goes Sandy Clark. It hits the post. There's a penalty kick awarded, is there? No, oh, what has the referee awarded? It looks like a penalty kick, yes. It's a penalty kick for Hearts. Right at the start of the second half. And there you see the referee indicate why. A bit of pushing. Dave McKinnon in trouble for protesting. Well, that chip free kick from Kenny Black. Swirling in, up went Sandy Clark, he got his head to the ball all right, but there was a bit of pushing as the ball was in the air, and that's why Hearts have the penalty kick. So booking for McKinnon and John Robertson has the chance once again to find the net in the penalty spot. He has a 100% record from the spot this season. So it's Robertson against Walker. for the Hearts supporters and the perfect start to the second half for the league leaders well John Robertson's confidence of course at a height for the moment coming up to that penalty kick with portal assurance sending Walker the wrong way and Hearts now go into a two goal lead and then beat McKinnon and here's Robertson and that was a blatant foul by Durant moment of sheer stupidity on the part of the Rangers youngster and he'll be booked for his trouble well it's quite alarming for Rangers the fact that young John Cahoon can win the high ball so easily from McKinnon and then Robertson checking inside Durant body checked and brought to the ground chipped in by Black towards Robertson Barnes trying to work it clear corner kick's been given to Burns for not thumping the ball away aimlessly at the start. He tried very hard to engineer himself out of that tight corner. John Cahoon will take the corner. Headed away by McPherson. There's Black. Cahoon is onside. Very good touch on the Sandy Clark. It couldn't have been closer. Well, applause from Sandy Clark, and that is due, I think, both to Don Cahoon and then to Neil Berry, who got the touch on to Clark. The first time header and relief for Rangers. Fraser seemed to be brought down by Mackay. The referee allows play to go on. He's right on the spot. Bigman with a head flick through, handled by Kidd. So our Rangers now is staging a fight. Midway through the second half. Hearts two, Rangers nil. Fraser now lifting it forward. There's McCoy's in the turn. There's a penalty kick, yes! McCoy brought down in the act of shooting and McCoy showing his danger inside the box as he turned there from that chip pass from Fraser inviting the tackle pulled down and that's why it's a penalty kick to Rangers 
Oh, McCoyst himself will take it. Rangers top scorer. He's missed one this season so far. Well taken by McCoyst. Rangers are back in the match. 22 minutes into the second half. And Ali McCoyst, the top scorer, brings them right back to life again. He was the man fouled. He was the man who tucked the spot kick away. This is a fine effort, though, by Henry Smith in goal. He guessed right, threw himself headlong towards that post. But McCoyst had enough power in the shot. And Fraser. Big men trying to ease himself away from kids. Good play from McMinn going all the way. He couldn't pull it back enough for Ali McCoyst. But what a dangerous winger he can be. Mark's header, there's Cahoon. Guns closing in. Wide of goal and great play from John Cahoon. He wants a corner kick. He won't get one, but that was a tremendous attack once again from Hart. The problems caused by Sandy Clark once again clear for all to see. Rolling the ball on, Cahoon driving at the Rangers' defence and eventually couldn't get the shot on target. With ten minutes left as Rangers bring on Davy Cooper. It's Robert Fleck going off. And Davy Cooper... Has only 10 minutes in which to turn the match around. So John Cahoon is off and Colin McAdam is on. Hart selecting the player furthest away from the tunnel for the substitution. Colin McAdam has barely enough time to work up a sweat. He's going into attack alongside Sandy Clark. Two formidable figures. McAdams' first touch. Clark will escort it to the corner flag, I'm sure, to waste precious seconds. Durant trying to win it for Rangers. With John Robertson, three for the hat trick. Well saved by Walker, who took up good position on the six yard line. Cooper screening the ball, easing it away from Black, through the middle for Fraser. Too much power on the pass. And it looks as though the time is running out to give Rangers any chance to save the match now. Henry Smith's in no hurry, of course, as we go into time added on for stoppages. McKinnon being invited to hurry by his colleagues. Durant. McPherson's hurried clearance. Fraser. No one on the left for Rangers. Harry McDonald waiting for the final whistle. Will have come any second now. The clearance now. Missed by Monroe. Back to Robertson. The chance for Sandy Clark. stepping ever closer to their first title for 26 years, but on a day when Brian McClare had a hat-trick for Celtic and Hibs...